I found this little guy and that looked interesting. I just, oh, for some reason I thought I wanted to wash it off. And then all of this appeared. It's really cool. It's on all the sides. I'm assuming it's some kind of coral. Of course, pictures never do it justice. It's really pretty in person. I like that part of it. It's really neat. Finding a lot of these little guys around. Some of them are real bubbly, and then some of them kind of more a little toothy, I guess. Um, reminds me of like something volcanic. It's real light, but very durable. It's not too easy to break. There's a whole bunch of it around here. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll post it online and see if anybody else does. I'm sure it's something common, but still really neat to look at. Gotta come back and fish this. Look at it swirling over there. The bank's right here, but it gets real deep. And then goes all the way down. There's some fish in there for sure. I love finding these brachio pads. This is kind of a decent size one. It's broken, fortunately, not all the way around, but Kind of like finding a broken arrowhead and still exciting. There's so many of these plates here. This one's really cool. It's blue. The other ones I found are red. Here's a fun little Cluster, got horn coral, looks like some crinoids and brachiopads. This is the other side. Just a little muddy. It's cool. By the way, best who ever rocky. Made right here in Ohio. Don't leave the home without them. Always in my car or on my feet. Can you all see how sparkly this is? I hate it when the videos never do it justice. The whole thing is really sparkly. I don't know. I don't think it's picking it up, but it's pretty cool. Corn coral. Dang, I wish the sparkle showed up. So it caught my eye. It's very interesting in person. I think these rocks are really interesting. It's got like granite in the center. It's almost like a straight line all the way around the center. I found a big one like that like oh near my house it was as big as it was as big as me I don't know what causes that or if that's like a certain type of rock but I think they're really neat to look at just pulled this thing out of the ground isn't that hole right there I just wanted to see the bumps on it but I turned it over and I think it's one of those I what fossil it is. Um, I'm gonna wash it off and see if I can see it better. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know what kind of fossil it is, but it's definitely something. 
Neat. I love posting this and hearing what people say, identifying everything. Pulled this one out of the mud too. A lot of these rocks here don't look like much and then you rinse them off and you get to see some cool textures and patterns and fossils that you couldn't see beforehand. It's a fun place. It goes on forever too. I think I found a horn crow. This guy I picked up, I just thought it was a spotted rock. I just wanted to check it out, but I think it's actually fossils. What do you think? It's really neat. I like that pattern right there. Reminds me of like one of those shells from the ocean. Can't tell if that goes all the way around or not. Well, I should often see. There's a few more things here. Still kind of muddy, but I love all the bubbles and all those. They're everywhere. It's fun. Yeah, that's really cool looking. <laughs> Especially after it's wet. I might keep it just because it's fun to look at. Passed by this rock earlier. I thought maybe it's just like one of those cement with a bunch of rocks in it, but I think that's a one coral right there. Oh, hey, look. Big old thing. It's heavy. There's, all, there's three of them. One, two, three. Cool. I love picking up stuff like that. Let's wash it off. It's too heavy to take home. But I set it with the other ones that I'm leaving here. Maybe somebody else will find it. There's all those in there. It's more than. Before. Yeah, brush would really get that detail out. It's really cool. I kind of wish I could take this home. It's really heavy though, and I'm not very close to my car. The one time I don't bring my backpack. And I find a bunch of big things. <laughs> of course. Cool. Alright, we're going to put this. <laughs> the other ones that I'm not bringing. I got a sparkly one. It's just too big and it's not that amazing. But it's usually what I end up doing. Just making a pile of things that I'm leaving behind. Usually the water <laughs> washes away when the rivers get high, and then I'll probably find them all over again, or somebody else will. This guy has some cool textures in it. It's kind of sparkly. I don't know if you can see that. I've been finding a lot of these, but look how blue this is. That's like turquoise. That's really cool. I just wanted to document it. Really like that color. I think this is one of those. Bumpy, where I thought it was a bumpy rock and it's 
fossils. Let's see. I love the weather is getting warmer. It's not too cold to be in the water. <laughs> Look at that. More fossils. Nice. I'm not sure what this is. It's probably not a rock. It's probably like corn or something. Oh, yeah. That's corn. It's the first one I've seen around here. There are a lot of deer in here. Tons of deer tracks and trails. This place is actually somewhere I used to come years ago before I knew anything about fossils. And well, I loved looking at the rocks when we were walking and walking the creek and fishing the creek. And the guy I was dating at the time was always so annoyed. I was stopping all the time, so I never really stopped and looked at what it was that I was liking so much. And Years later, I find out that I'm re actually really into all this paleontology stuff and minerals and I would have known then. I just remember this place not too long ago. I just need to come check this out. And I found some of my favorite fossils here so far. It's a big place too could search it for days and days. It's never the same creek twice. It's always moving. But I'm really glad I came and checked it, checked it out. It's beautiful here.